there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your monthly astrology for December 2023. And just a quick heads up, I'm going to be coming out with special 2024 astrological overviews very, very soon. And so if you would like to get an alert as to when those show up, might want to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. That way it'll be in your subscriptions feed when they show. And if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what's going on when it comes to the end of your 2023? So December starts off with a jolt of accelerated activity in your eighth house of intimacy, shared resources, extra income, sexuality, debts, and investments, Capricorn as Mercury will be stepping into this part of your life right at the start of the month on the 1st. You'll find that pursuits, connections, and plans relating to these matters are speeding up in their growth and development, as that is all ruled by Mercury, and it will likely take you by surprise just to see all of this accelerated activity kind of get a move, especially after the sort of sluggish November that we've had. This also goes for new opportunities that will likely reveal themselves in the first two weeks of the month. This will progress so fast that by the time that Mercury turns retrograde on the 13th of the month and eventually moves back into Sagittarius on the 23rd of the month, you will need to be ready to make a lot of adjustments and revisions to present courses and present commitments that you have maintained uh, in this area of your life, as well as in your seventh house of closest and most involved connections in order to get the most out of these big breaks that are coming your way. Sagittarius is the ruler of your seventh house of closest and uh, most involved connections after all, right? I, I've often said in the past, this is the area that talks about the boyfriend, girlfriend, BFF, business partner, husband, wife, roommate, all of your closest and most involved connections. Mars and the Sun will already be in Sagittarius in this part of your life um, and for the vast majority of the month, really working this part of your world over. Mars is going to be there all month long, and the Sun is going to be there all the way up through the 21st. And this is all about clearing away old challenges and old ch uh, shadows that you've been facing in your most involved connections, especially the ones that don't seem to go away, especially when it comes to things that maybe you've, you or a partner or a significant other or a business ally or a best friend or whoever have just kind of started treating like a part of the package. The Sun and Mars together are like, no. No more. Absolutely not. And this is also going to be a time where a lot of obstacles and blocks to being able to be uh, maybe closer to a significant other, or maybe for those of you looking for a new significant other, if there's a block there, or if there's a connection that doesn't seem to be uh, getting an opportunity to be explored, this is going to be helping that. And this is also a time where a lot of walls to you having strong, close friendships and allies in a platonic and business sense will also be getting torn down, causes, cores, and effects. The sun will be bringing in fresh energy, lightness, and levity. And again, Mars will be breaking down those barriers and allowing strong bonds and strong uh, connections and trust to be built. Mars will also, however, be taking the gloves off when it comes to taking on and taking out problems and challenges, again, that you may have tolerated or you may have lived with as, quote, part of the package of all kinds of different arrangements you may have, especially if they are a true liability to everyone's highest good, or they have just been the source of an ongoing problem that won't go away. And not everyone handles this kind of thing well, so be mindful of that. A new moon in this part of your chart will be initiating a fresh start in at least one of your closest relationships on the 12th, um, be it a romantic, platonic, or professional relationship. And over the course of the two weeks following, right, the 12th through this 26th, right, window periods with new moons, not hanging on every word of the date, but the window period, um, this will be getting underway. 
This will also be a time where new opportunities for those that are looking for um, new connections, again, will also find that um, a new goal or a new future in one of your closest uh, connections or a new future that comes in the form of a new close uh, important connection or alliance is also going to be uh, in the offering for you. On the 21st, the sun moves into Capricorn, into that eighth house. Uh, that we spoke about at the very beginning of the video and with the sun in capricorn where it will be through the third week of january you'll be noticing a lot more playful sweetness in all of your intimate activities as well as surprising increases in luck in matters of growth with your savings extra income self-employment ventures joint ventures as well as future plans regarding debts investments and big moves Venus will be in the sign of Scorpio pretty much all month long. Your sixth house of work routines, reputation, schedule, and the services you provide to others and the value you get for what you do for others. This is a transit that boosts your favor uh, and you will find that you are getting a chance to be lifted up into a new setup that is very rewarding and desirable to you. But you will need to be open to being shown the way. On the 26th, a full moon in Cancer brings a culmination, climax, or transition to your second house of employment, salary, values, and valuables. And you'll likely be bringing an era to an end in the two weeks following the 26th as it relates to your livelihood or a position that you hold. Some of you may be moving on to a new role or title, and some of you may find a role or title worth leaving your present circumstances for as we go on into the month of January. Finally, we also have Jupiter on the 30th turning direct in Taurus, your 12th house of your past, history as it affects the present, secrets, and hidden matters. And you may find that throughout the first half of 2024, you'll be getting many lucky breaks from people, situations, and opportunities that will either be coming out of your past, or be they returned or rediscovered, or you may find that you are getting a chance to find a new form of success in your life off the beaten path or behind closed doors with a, an important project or an important dream or goal that you had to leave behind closed doors or leave in the past once upon a time. But Jupiter, the planet of advancement, prosperity, good fortune, and success says, maybe we can do something with that. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.